Hi, I'm Leslie Richardson from the Visual Studio team. In the past few months, we've released three preview versions of Visual Studio 2022 that give you the power to personalize and be more productive in your development environment. Now, I'm super excited to share with you some more awesome features that are now available for Visual Studio 2022 Preview 4, which has just been released, so let's go check it out. One cool new feature that we introduced back in earlier previews of Visual Studio 2022 is Hot Reload. And in Preview 4, now we've added Hot Reload support for Razor files. So now if you're making changes to your c -sharp code in a Razor file and you hit save, all your changes will automatically take effect in your ASP.NET application without having to manually recompile. We've also added hot reload support for CSS. And in this scenario, you don't even have to save your updates to immediately see them in action. Once you add your changes and the CSS file is syntactically correct, your program will automatically update with those changes whether you chose to save or not. In this example, I've got a basic HTML list of numbers that I want to convert to a grid format. So all I gotta do is paste in the related CSS and voila, my app is automatically updated with hot reload. Performance is always a top priority for Visual Studio, and Find and Files is one tool that we've improved performance for in Preview 4. So if you've got a huge project in Preview 4 that's got hundreds of files or even thousands of files that you'd like to search through using the Find and Files tool, you can see results up to three times faster than in previous versions of Visual Studio 2022. All right, so as a Visual Studio debugger fan, I am very excited about the highly requested edition of dependent breakpoints that are now available for Preview 4. Dependent breakpoints let you enable a specific breakpoint only after another breakpoint is hit. So if you've got a section of your code, such as a game loop maybe, where you'd like to enable a particular breakpoint, but only under a specific circumstance, but are unable to use a conditional breakpoint because you want to trigger the hit from either another page or a controller or something like that, dependent breakpoints are definitely the way to go. Now this last feature is for all the C++ developers out there. One of our goals for Visual Studio 2022 is to make it easier for C++ devs like you to build, test, and debug your cross-platform supported programs. Specifically, Preview 4 now makes it easy for you to target the Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL2 by using the F5 dropdown where I can select WSL Debian, for example. From there, I can run my program that will print out an ASCII cow and the output is moved, sorry, from Linux to Visual Studio, as you can see here. So as you can see, there are a lot of really neat additions to Preview 4 of Visual Studio 2022, and that's not even the half of it. So if you haven't already, be sure to download Visual Studio 2022, try it out, share your feedback, and happy coding.